One of the, the common sense things that may have people have this model that violence is increasing or at least not decreasing is World War II. Yeah. You know, obviously the Holocaust, the number of people killed. I mean, uh, you know, as you grow up and learn history, it, it stands out uh, as this awful event. And so you had to look statistically at, at previous wars and, you know, kind of show that it's not as much as an outlier by certain ways of looking at it as, as people might think. Yeah, World War II was certainly the worst thing that happened in human history, certainly in terms of the absolute number of people who were killed. Uh, it's not clear, it depends how you do the math, whether it was the worst in terms of the proportion of the population that was killed, because there were atrocities in previous generations that proportionately were comparable. The European wars of religion, the Mongol invasions, to say nothing of tribal warfare that could kill a much larger percentage of the population than died in World War II. There's no doubt that World War II was an extreme case. But the other interesting thing about World War II is that, uh, as horrible as it was, it did not represent the trend that so many people had predicted. Uh, that is, well, you know, World War I, 15 million people, World War II, 50 million people. Well, we see the way the trend is going. And with nuclear weapons, it was completely plausible. In fact, it was considered a certainty that a World War III between the US and the Soviet bloc would take place and that the, uh, the, the rate of carnage would be incomparably greater than World War II. So that never happened. It's not going to happen. Uh, and that is good news that not enough people uh, appreciate. Uh, World War II, in a sense, was the culmination of uh, two, two long-term trends. Wars over 500 years of great power conflict Wars got uh, less and less frequent. Used to be countries would go to war at the drop of a hat, and the, the great powers, you know, the Spanish, the English, the Ottomans, were pretty much always at war with each other. Over time, the, they, the, the number of new wars per year got less and less and less. Unfortunately, at the same time, how much damage each war did got greater and greater as weapons and military organization increased. So you have these two trends going in opposite directions. World War II was pretty short, and it uh, occurred after a, a period of peace, but it was massively destructive. What happened after World War II is that the destructiveness of wars, how, once you start a war, how many people do you kill per country per year, did a U-turn. And so we're living in a period for the last two-thirds of a century where the number of wars has gone down, but also the destructiveness per year of war has gone down. And that was the major change after World War II.